Hello. Welcome, everybody. To G1 Game Day. Welcome to the G1 Wrestling Universe. G1 Game Day's WrestleMania pre-show extravaganza. Featuring SGC. So, those of you that have seen G1 Wrestling before, in the past, you know what to expect. Those that <coughs> have not, well, this is a big Supercard event. Pay-per-view event. And also, this marks the end of me using WWE 2K17. And before we begin, I'd like to welcome Smoke, who uh, is here. Uh, Shadow Cap, Thanatos, Shiro, Champ, uh, all the rest of you that are here watching live this pre-show event before we eventually all go to WrestleMania and look and see what it has in store for us and try and see if we can find uh, none of the Dylan Toomey there, which is I'm hungover uh, sign. Uh, so... As you also know, I've been doing this uh, G1 Wrestling for about a year, and SGC is the end of it. So after this, uh, I will be moving on to WWE 2K17. Uh, but before I can actually start up the universe, I have to make a couple arenas and pay-per-views and shows and uh, some more people to add to the roster before I can begin. And odds are you're all going to be able and privy to those creations. And also, I want to thank Champ for completing the, uh, I guess, the shell of a future pay-per-view. Uh, it's not a bad put-together little thing. All I need to do is add the signage. And it's not bad. Uh, Champ did a pretty good job. It actually fits with pretty much the design I probably would have went with. So, thanks Champ for making that and getting that out of the way. That's one less thing I have to do. So, as you know, with uh, uh, Supercard events, pay-per-view events, Pretty much everything is on the line. All the storylines will come to an end. Um, but again, before we begin, before I get over to pure gameplay, I made a little retrospective video. It's not the best, but it's the best I could do within a week. So before we get off on that foot, I'll go ahead and turn it on over to that, and we can finally get SGC going.
All right. That was it. What'd y'all think? Was that good for a bit of a rush job? All right, here we go. All right, first match. As you can see, we are starting off strong with the GSF Championship match, and we have seven matches total. Uh, but remember, well, I'm sorry. Uh, I basically worked with uh, what I got. I tried to accentuate as many people as I could. Because as you can tell, I was rushed for time. Because in the beginning of the video compared to the ending of the video, you can see things were a little bit more fancy and stuff. But still, you had some good moments. Uh, I tried to feature as many people as I could in that like seven or so minute video. That is way over three minutes uh, compared to what Mr. Johnny Chase suggested. <laughs> so sorry there, uh, Johnny. Kind of went a little bit over. Uh, but, you know, I tried to get everybody. And I thought I ended it good on that cliffhanger because, you know, Tom uh, narrowly got taken out by Lawrence to win the Royal Rumble. But, yes, anyway, let us go. It is time for S G C. In the GSF Championship. And don't forget to uh, place your game attack yo's or whatever they're called on who you think is going to win, whether or not Johnny Chase will finally win a belt or Shiro will retain. And end this rivalry and win the championship and stuff. Because as soon as this loads up, I should probably turn that off. Hurry, hurry to the settings. Woo, I did it. Okay. All right, everybody, welcome here to Los Angeles, here in bright and sunny California, as we got a heck of a way to start off, none other than the Screw Attack Grand Competition for you, then a battle for the belt in this intense rivalry between none other than the Madman, the Animal himself, Shiro, and your first person coming out here none other than that force from the north Johnny Chase coming out here to join us yes it's his time he says my time his time is now putting a hopefully putting to bed this uh, little bit of rivalry between him and Shiro here on the G1 Wrestling Universe here at the Screw Attack Grand competition hopefully it would be nice to finally bring a belt back to Canada for him who uh, also has none other than a significant other having a little match herself later today for none other than the women's title so even if something happens and per chance Johnny Chase should happen to lose out which he is for certain to give Shiro the fight of his life here at the Spirit Attack Grand Competition is not grand for no other reason than to bring out the best in people. But his wife, none other than Relic Raider, is in the running for the Women's Championship, which will be on later here at the Spirit Attack Competition. But now we got the champ, the GSF champ, is Johnny Chase waiting patiently, pacing inside the ring. 
Yes, there he is. He's gonna unleash the beast here, none other than Hero. Definitely seen a string of good luck though. Uh, Johnny Chase definitely very well has proven himself to be the number one contender. He's gonna have his hands full here in this uh, championship match, that belt finally on the line. Here at SGC. Hopefully it's a uh, be of wonder and to see exactly what Shearer has up his sleeves. Oh well, he's not really wearing sleeves, but still, what exactly he has planned for this match. Tiny bit. Okay, how is that sounded? Everything sounds good as there is a flash of the belt. Two, two men in the ring. So how does that sound before I ring the bell and get this underway? Does that change anything? Do I need to turn it up a little bit more? Or what have you? All right, here we go in three, two, one. And now the fight has begun. The bell has rang and Johnny Chase grabbing a hold of that arm. Oh, the knee goes down as the champ down on one knee. Got to say this most definitely will probably be a grueling match as here recently we saw with these two men on none other than a G1 showdown they practically gave it its all now they have tied up back and forth here Shiro now in control grabbing has his arm wrapped firmly around oh Johnny Chase's head down to the mat oh right hand right to the face the forehead there now kick to the midsection now right just cold cocked him and send him right over that top rope. Shearer coming out to join him on the outside. Keeping him down. In control, but no, Johnny Chase with a reversal taking down Shiro. You do a lot of damage there on the outside. And just like that, throwing a man into those steel steps. And oh, once again, Johnny Chase showing his force from the north and whoop, throwing him into those uh, steel steps. And Johnny Chase saying, what are you doing? Get back in the ring. And so Shiro does. But nope, he's not done. Going right back on the outside. Shiro looking to be the one to do the damage here on the outside. But Johnny saying no and running him right face first into that steel ring post now quick right hand and oh into the barricade on the outside but a series of elbows taking out Johnny Chase there with a clothesline here on the outside gotta say oh deadlift powerbomb oh my goodness on the outside Shiro pulling no punches wanting to put it into this going in coming back out to restart that count he apparently is not done with this onslaught oh and that right there that DDT definitely shows it he wants to maybe not only put an end to this title defense but just straight up put an end to Johnny Chase with that suplex oh but no Johnny Chase catches it oh taking him down hard oh in he goes. Shiro now getting his wits back about him. In he goes. Oh, Johnny Chase doing a little mouthing off and managed to be caught off guard by Shiro. We got to say, it is amazing here. As, oh, Shiro just brutalizing Johnny Chase. Especially after his last match, we saw Johnny Chase going for a pure wrestling. And if it uh, doesn't look as though Shiro is very good at that. So if you can't beat Shiro in just pure wrestling, 
he's going to have to use that outside to an advantage. And he does, but now things are inside the ring, though. And, oh, man, the arms. Looks like Johnny Chase definitely focusing on the arms, maybe hoping, hoping to take them out to maybe help prevent any of those suplexes that Shiro seems so uh, good with. Now kick to the midsection. Johnny Chase. Oh, on the ropes. Shiro goes. And, oh, no, reversal. Shiro fighting back. Big left, right. Oh, no, he catches it. Johnny Chase knocking him down. Oh, grab a hold of that leg. Now stomping on the back. And the, oh, no, rising knee. Shiro fighting back. Oh, going for a cover, trying to end this quick. He wants to keep a hold of that title, but only getting a two count. Swing and a miss, but Shiro still managing to catch Johnny. He is up, and oh, my God. Face first. Johnny Chase. Yes, Johnny bleeding from the head. Oh, no, and here comes the suplexes. Oh, not looking good for the man from Canada. Bleeding, suplexed, he's down. This could be the beginning of the end for Johnny Chase, rolling him over. One, this could be it, two, no, Johnny Chase. Bleeding, suplexed, still managing to kick out Bashiro. Still ready and raring to go. Oh, but no, Johnny Chase fighting back out of the corner. Not giving in, not letting uh, the power fest that is Shiro's form and style gain hold. Uh-oh, he's up. Oh, showing a little bit of power of his own. Johnny Chase taking down Shiro. And oh, kick to the midsection, off into the ropes. Oh, kick, and again, down goes Shiro. No, catches him, swinging neck breaker. Shiro is down, right in the center of the ring, but Johnny Chase not done. Amazing comeback, and uh-oh, he is up. And here comes that Canadian slam, taking him all the way up to Canadian slam country. There's two. Oh, my God, is this? No, only... A two count. Amazing onslaught there from Johnny Chase now. As Johnny has just stopped away. Oh, but no, there's a kick to the face. Is there Johnny? Not messing around. Tried to just cut to the chase, but no. Here we go. One, two. I don't think it's going to do it. No, Johnny stays chase still. Has some steam left in his engine. Oh, there's a kick to the midsection, and Shiro catches him, taking him down to the mat. Oh, punch to the gut. And, oh, looking to go back outside. As Johnny Chase has definitely seen the power of Shiro. Oh, a little bit of verbal abuse to go with the physical here. Oh, Johnny Chase. Oh, with a deadlift of his own on the outside. Oh, that is going to hurt. Shiro's back. Johnny Chase taking a moment to catch his breath. Oh, but no. Shiro fighting back with a reversal. Quick right hand and back in. Johnny Chase goes. Johnny Chase now at the mercy of Shiro. But no, blocking it with a knee. Retaliating. Uh-oh, grabbing a hold of that leg. Elbow drop. It's now Johnny Chase looking to obviously get some revenge, especially after Shiro with that brutal attack after their last match, trying to obviously teach Johnny Chase a lesson. Oh, but I guess Johnny 
is a bit of a hard learner. And uh oh, here comes those suplexes again. Two and one more. Boom, down he goes. Okay, Johnny Chase being moved away from those ropes. Smart move. Rolls him over. One, two. Man, raising that shoulder at just the right time. Now Johnny getting slowly but surely back to his feet and not before he can be punched right between the eyes. Shiro, but no, unfazed. Shiro again being hit and kicked and kicked again. Johnny Chase trying his best to fight back. But Shiro, oh, powerhouse taking down Johnny. Oh, okay. Both men looking to appear a little bit winded, but Shiro, first to get up. Oh, and the first to get a hit right to the face. But Shiro, still a little bit unaffected. Oh, my goodness. Side suplex from behind. Down goes Johnny Chase once again. Shiro setting up. Oh no, up, oh my god, oh, off the ring ropes. That has got to hurt. Looks like he's still not done, but no, Johnny Chase with a reversal pushing Shiro away. Oh, up again, it looks like we're going to cut to the chase once again with that Canadian slam taking him down. Going for a cover, smart decision. One, two, oh my goodness, no, doesn't get it. And Johnny Chase can't quite believe it. Bleeding from the head, battered, suplexed, bruised, and there's a kick to the gut from Shiro. And oh no, trying for the SKO, doesn't get it. Johnny Chase pushing him away. Johnny Chase once again in control, up he goes, and just tossing him with what might he can across the ring. Both men on their feet. Shiro with the help of, oh, Johnny picking it up just to slam him down as hard as he can. Okay, hooks the leg, goes for the cover. One, two, in the center of the ring. Doesn't get any farther than two, though. Oh, but no, Shiro looks to have gotten a bit of breath of life back in him. As now, oh, big boot right to the bleeding head of Johnny Chase. Okay, Johnny Chase forcing, willing himself back up. And uh-oh. Shiro. Oh my goodness, the vicious Shiro. Last ride there from Shiro. Uh-oh. Shiro in the corner. Uh-oh, the Shiro Spear. Is it? Yes! There it is. Taken out. Johnny Chase, I think that is going to do it. Johnny Chase looks to be out. There he is going for the cover. One, two. No, only two. Shiro can't believe it. Now Shiro throwing Johnny into the corner. Probably most definitely not happy. Oh. And oh no, going for a headbutt, uh, but all he meets is Johnny's elbow. And Johnny, uh oh. Uh oh. Johnny, oh, taking down Shiro right there. Think this might be the return of Johnny. Uh oh, positioning him away from those ropes, rolling him over. Now in the center of the ring, going for a cover. One, two, no! Two and a half for sure, but doesn't get the three count. So we get another kick to the mid cage section. Shiro in the corner, but no, getting out of it. Still a little bit dazed, though. 
Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Splayed across the shoulders of Johnny Chase. No, he doesn't kick. Or he doesn't tap. And oh my god. SKO into it. Covered him. Into a cover. One, two. Is that it? Three. That is it. Johnny Chase is out. Shiro holding on to his belt. There is your winner. Take a look at some of these replays here. Obviously, Johnny Chase, after the brutal beating at the showdown. Shiro brutalizing Johnny Chase, managing to come out with a big win here. Oh, Johnny Chase battered, bruised, bloody not without his own good retaliation here but ultimately he still could not get his hands on that coveted gold here you see the boom SKO there's the two and the three ending it right there there's your winner and still, still GSF champion, Shiro unleashing the beast, embracing his evil and coming out on top, maintaining the gold. But that's just the first match here on the Screw Attack Grand Competition. What do you say we get into whatever in the heck could possibly top that next? So yeah, there you go. So yeah, here we go. Six man achievement hunter battle royal. And don't worry, I got a good uh K Fabe reason why this is going on. Please nerf in two K seventeen. <laughs> Well, that's the entire Achievement Hunter crew. You should really watch their stuff. They can be pretty funny. The K Favorites in School Season 3. <laughs> But no, that's one thing I'm definitely going to try and get better at is telling stories and have a somewhat kayfabe because I don't think a lot of people are picking up or noticing or I'm not conveying well enough uh, the stories I'm trying to put forth. Which I'm, I hopefully, through my commentary, will get better at. But it's kind of hard when, uh... What? You're just gonna watch your match and leave? Boo! Boo, Johnny Chase. And no, I'm not saying boo earns. If you're going to have guests, have your guests watch. Uh-oh, I'm on. And hello, everybody. Welcome back here to the City of Angels. Because we got a big uh, battle royal coming your way right now between all of our Achievement Hunter stable. Because now, as you may or may not know, it was recently revealed... 
that none other than Jeff Ramsey, the founder, the main man behind Achievement Hunter, would, well, be leaving. So obviously, all the other Achievement Hunters out there, they probably uh, want that top spot. They want to be known as the Achievement Hunter. They want that uh, top spot to be the achieviest Achievement Hunter. So what better way than to have a battle royal? But of course, Jeff wanting to uh, protect his uh, namesake that he is the founder, the best Achievement Hunter, and obviously is going to take place in something such as that. As of course, you got our first com opponent out here, one of the first superstars, Gavin Free coming out. And oh man, here comes the next. None other than Jack Patillo. Jack seen his uh, share of action here in the G1 Wrestling Universe. Even had a very uh, almost one sided rivalry with the likes of none other than our very own G1 Hydro Arctic. Now, as you may know, uh, that whole thing started with Jack, the man right there, blocking Hydro for whatever reason, and then Hydro not winning the bout to be unblocked, just went and decided to just savagely attack him. Ultimately still came to no avail. So, but that's all in the past as now Jack making his way to the ring to take part. Hopefully he can, uh, you never know, he was one of the, uh, not founders, but a founding member of Achievement Hunter. So hopefully he might find a good placement right there on top. So yes, now with Jack in the ring. We get our third competitor here. Here is none other than the Mad King himself making his SGC debut. As you all know, Ryan Haywood from Achievement Hunter Lore was at one time just a regular computer guy that pretty much worked on uh, whatever the Achievement Hunter people, you know broke eventually found a footing in the likes of achievement hunter jeff let him in let him in the videos and now maybe he can be king of the crop the head honcho there of achievement hunter as hopefully this battle royal will play out as you know the battle royal is uh, the final man standing after everybody has been thrown over the top rope the last man inside the ring will be the winner and in this case will be the top achievement hunter and if that happens to be none other than Jeff himself well then he retains any and all say at achievement hunter because obviously he is the best he is the man the myth the legend Obviously, also, uh, the Mad King, Ryan, no stranger to the spotlight. Little known fact, he, uh, at one point did a little bit of modeling out there. I'm sure if you wanted to find it, it's somewhere that has something to do with a gnome. You know, the Mad King has made his entrance. He is inside the ring, showing himself off to all of his loyal Craze subjects here on the G1 Wrestling Universe. All right, and that is only half of who we got here is now we got our next superstar from Achievement Hunter coming out. 
Mr. Rage Quit, Achievement Hunter Man himself. None other than uh, future father and husband of none other than Lindsay Michael Jones making his way down to the ring. As you know, here recently uh, there was a bit of a rivalry of hate and rage between that man right there and even Craig. Eventually they both uh, grew to respect one another. So obviously it didn't really uh, amount to much. So there he is. Inside the ring he goes. Hopefully uh, he doesn't rage quit this match. That's for sure. There we go. Michael Jones inside the ring. All right, what do we got up, coming up next? Is it? Nope. Here he comes. Achievement Hunter's very own Jeremy Dooley, Little J. Small on stature, big on attitude. Little J, probably uh, the most recent addition to the likes of Achievement Hunter. And also, Craig uh, tweeted out something about a WrestleMania watching party. So come, could somebody maybe that is here that has access to the G1 Game Days Twitter reply to him and say that uh, G1 Game Days, or you could do it yourself if you don't have access, say that, hey, we're doing a WrestleMania pre-show. That'd be awesome. I mean, he tweeted that about four or five minutes ago. You know, let him know, see if we can get him to come back, maybe enjoy a little bit of SGC. Okay, we are back in in three, two, one. And here we go, the man himself, Jeffrey Ramsey, the head honcho, the founder of Achievement Hunter himself. As you may also know, he was a founder of none other than the parent company of Achievement Hunter before breaking off into Achievement Hunter itself. Uh, Rooster Teeth, Jeff Ramsey, uh, most well known for his role as Griff on Red versus Blue. Unfortunately shocked the world with saying he's gonna take a hiatus from the videos from Achievement Hunter as a whole, maybe gonna pop up every so often. And may, wasting no time to put all these punks in their place getting inside the ring. Prove he is the top achievement hunter. You can't beat the founder, the man that started it all. As now, here we go. The bell has rang, and this match is off and. Everybody seems to have found an opponent. And Michael Jones going straight after the Mad King himself. Okay, a little bit of chaos going. On inside the ring is now Chad James, or not Chad James, but Jeremy Dooley, Jack Matillo. It looks like the two founding members are having it out there. Jack Attila and Jeff Ramsey. Uh-oh, Jack on the ropes. Uh-oh, looks like he is ready to be tilted over already. And uh-oh, no, the Mad King almost taken out. And uh-oh, uh-oh, no. Jack Patil oh my God, the King is gone. Ryan is gone. Already out. And now Michael turns his attention to Jack Patillo. And now switching his attention to Little J. As it appears that the rage has done Michael well up until now. Oh, too bad. It definitely was not long lived the king here as he was the first eliminated in the six man over the top rope battle royal for the Achievement Hunter throne. As now Gavin is on the outside. 
Jeff having a hold of him, but no. Managing to get back inside the ring. It's now Jeremy up and over, holding on to that top rope. Michael looking to try and get rid of Jeremy, the newest member of Achievement Hunter there. Doesn't do it. It's now Jeff turned back to Jack. Gavin with a little bit of double team action there, stomping on. And uh oh, Jeremy with Michael on the ropes. Uh oh, looking to get a little bit of help from Gavin. Team Nice Dynamite is not here. And okay. Michael fighting back, getting off those ropes. Now Jeremy on the ropes once again. Now again, looks like Gavin trying to take the opportunity to eliminate somebody with the help of Michael, but no, Jeremy now fighting both men off as the founder still battled it out as, oh, Jeff barely hanging on, but Jack's not done, gonna try and kick him the rest of the way out. Jeff holding on with everything that he can, and oh no, there he goes. Jeff is gone. There's now four men left in this battle royal. There's now Gavin facing off with Jack Vitillo, Jeremy, and Michael going at each other. And uh-oh, Jeremy up and over with the Michael on the outside. Uh-oh, Jack Vitillo has a hold of Gavin. Oh, the Vitillo powerbomb. Down goes Gavin, and Michael's back inside the ring. And oh, in the corner goes Jeremy. Is Michael now trying his best to get Jeremy out of this ring? Gavin with a reversal taking down Jacket. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, there goes Jeremy. Jeremy is gone. Little Jay is gone and he is not happy about it. Jack slowly getting back inside the ring as Jeremy takes his stroll to the outside but now Michael looking possibly to join him as oh no barely hanging on Jack grabbing a hold of Gavin oh my goodness Michael's not gonna like that one bit as now he picks up Gavin throwing him into that corner and uh oh here we go Michael trying to get Gavin but no pushing him away but Jack is right there and swinging a miss with that drop kick is now Gavin goes right back into the corner. Michael trying once again as Jack looks on, going ahead and going to let this happen. But oh no, Gavin fighting back with a vengeance. Is now Jack. Oh, with some elbows to Michael, but Gavin grabbing hold of Jack and boom, taking him down. Now up and over goes Jack Patillo and into the corner goes Gavin Free, Je allowing Jack to get back inside this match. And uh oh, Gavin slowly, oh no, quick poke got Michael off of him. And now this has turned into a triple man battle royal is now Gavin went over the top rope Michael trying to help him along his way and there he goes and Gavin wasting no time to get a hold of Michael but no reversal cross body Gavin can't quite believe what has happened there on the outside and oh man the power Michael seems to have here to try and slam a big man like Jack Attila taking a moment to catch his breath and it's amazing battle royal going ahead and stomping on Jack Patillo's back there and oh no Jack fighting back with a quick takedown oh now punch to the head keeping Michael out of sorts there oh no Jack has a hold and boom that Patillo powerbomb taking down Michael and oh there we are and oh Jack Patillo once again 
dominating this match. All he has to do is find a way to chuck Michael over that top rope and we will finally have a winner here. Apparently he wants to get a message across that he is the man. He is the top member of the Achievement Hunter team. And here we go. Oh, oh no. Holding on. So, uh oh no. Managing to roll back in as quickly as he can. But no. Jack going to force Michael out of this ring with his bare hands it looks like. Uh oh, Michael not looking good here. Slowly going over that top rope. Oh my goodness, and up and over he goes. There is your winner. The top achievement hunter, Michael, letting that rage flow, not happy. Michael Jones is eliminated. As you can see here, Jack, with pure power and ferocity, just tipping him right over that top rope. Oh, amazing, amazing match from all six of these men. But there, one of the founding members of Achievement Hunter sitting on top. With a big win here at the Screw Attack Grand Competition SGC. Here on G1 Game Days. What do you say we see what we got in store for our next match? All right, so I see that kickoff has started. Be sure to keep us all updated with what's happening at the kickoff. Oh yes, this is one. This is the four, four-way monster match. That I made up, which apparently the graphic isn't going to show. It's a, uh, I believe, a fatal four-way false count anywhere match. We got uh, Mustachio and the worst, and Remy Tim evolved, and uh, of course Sloth. So yeah, if the pre-show for the actual WrestleMania has started, be sure to keep us updated on what happens. Yes, it's the monster match, exactly. Smoke, thank you very much. It's the four-way monster match. And, of course, uh, be sure to keep us updated with what happens on the pre-show. I think there's, like, what, two or three matches there? All right, looks like the betting has begun. We got five on the worst, three on Sloth. But I don't know. I mean, the, the mustachioed man there, I can't remember his freaking name. And also, while you're watching the pre-show, if you're watching any matches, make sure you keep an eye out for Dylan Toomey's green sign that says, I'm hungover, because he said... Uh-oh, I'm on. Never mind. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Los Angeles, California. We got a crazy match here at SGC as we got the worst coming out here first. As we got a four-way monster match here. We got some of the biggest, the meanest monsters in the G1 wrestling universe coming out in a fatal four-way Falls Count Anywhere match. There as the worst, obviously just, uh, just the worst entrance ever oh my goodness and he always takes his ever loving time getting it over with and getting inside the ring there we go he is in as we can get to the other people in this match in this monster match that we got here all right here we go our next competitor coming out here. You can see the worst ready and waiting. None other.
at SGC in this incredible match with these three other competitors. All right, now there's Remy Tim wasting no time to come on down to the ring here. You gotta remember almost anything can happen in a fatal four-way match. Balls can count anywhere, like I said, in this match. So you never know, this match may very well end on in the back or on the ramp. You never can. go. Ruby Tim is in, ready and waiting his other competitors. Uh-oh, who do we got up coming here? None other than El Mustachio making his SGC, the G1 Wrestling Universe debut. As you can see, El Mustachio very light on his feet, but big in the pain delivering department obviously El Mustachio making a big debut here monstrous in size and demeanor as he may be showing a bit of a softer side as he is light on his feet which definitely comes in handy inside the ring here at SGC hopefully we will get a good match out of this and his other competitors all right El Mustachio with a big debut inside the ring, waiting, waiting, ready and waiting for the last man in this four-way match. And hey, you guys! Yes, it is none other than Sloth. Yes, uh, been in a few matches here on the G1 Wrestling Universe. No stranger to the ring, that is for sure. Big and powerful, wasting no time to get down in the ring, get down to business. Yes, yes, there he goes. All right, Sloth is here, everybody is here. Now all we need is everybody in the ring. Yes, all four men inside the ring. Remember, anything can happen in this match. And there's the bell. And Sloth taking to the newcomer is the worst going after the great one, Remy Tim. The great Remy Tim is down at the hands of Sloth. And El Mustachio have it out. And now, uh-oh, El Mustachio taken out outside the ring as Remy Tim is at the mercy of the worst. Oh, but no, Remy Tim fighting back with a kick right to the midsection. But no, the worst just flinging him off like a bug. As now El Mustachio and Sloth battle it on, out on the outside of the ring which is a very valid place for this possibly to end. Is now Remy Tim going to the outside. The worst wondering where his opponent went there. He sees him, goes to find him on the outside, does. But no, Remy Tim shrugging him off once again. Wants nothing to do with the worst. Going ahead and kicking him in the midsection and taking him down. There you see on the opposite side of the arena, El Mustachio taking the fight to Sloth, taking him down. Because now Remy Tim is sent flying back inside the ring. And now El Mustachio with a sledgehammer to Sloth. Oh, man. Oh, brutalizing Sloth on the outside with that hammer. No Sloth. 
getting out of the way. Grabbing a hold of El Mustachio and oh, throwing him right into the side of the ring. As now Remy Tim showing the worst of himself to the worst inside of the ring here. But no, the worst taken down Remy Tim. Is now Sloth trying to get the upper hand on the outside. Looks like he has achieved that. And uh oh, the worst for a cover on the inside. Two doesn't get it. As now El Mustachio and Sloth trade kicks on the outside. And oh, backbreaker to the worst for Remy Tim. Involved on the inside is now Remy Tim going to the outside. Uh-oh. Looks like Remy Tim now looking for a weapon. Finds a chair. Uh-oh. What does he plan to do with that chair? Looks like he's looking at one of these two men. Throws the chair down. And oh! Gets immediately attacked by the worst. Oh, and now Remy Tim slamming his head of the worst right off that barrier. Oh man, one cover, this could do it, and in the match, no. All it takes is one pinfall, and oh, Sloth from the top, taking out the worst. Is now Remy Tim taking the fight to El Mustachio, picking up that chair, and oh! And now Sloth looking to dismantle the worst as Remy Tim on the outside. All the power. Oh, just dropping him like a rock. Remy Tim with the cover. One. Oh, will that do it? Two. No. El Mustachio with a kick out. And there, another pin. Two. No, with another kick out. And now the worst and the sloth are back at it. El Mustachio still down on the ground. There's Remy Tim going to work on that leg. Oh, man. Two. No, look to be broken up by Remy Tim there. So Remy Tim going to go ahead and go for a cover. One, two, doesn't get it. A quick kick to the back of the head, keeping the El Mustachio out of it here. And oh, Sloth grabbing a hold tight of uh, the worst there. Is El Mustachio now with a counter? Uh-oh. Things aren't looking good for Remy Tim. As we got a cover from Sloth, doesn't get it. El Mustachio, oh my goodness. Boom, down. And oh, hooking that leg. But no, broken up by the worst. Not ending this yet. Is now El Mustachio back on the attack and Sloth grabbing a hold of the worst once again. Ready for the beatdown. And boom goes Remy Tim. Head right off that barricade. Is now the worst leaning on the barricade. But now there goes his head right off the side of it. Oh, the Remy Tim and the worst trying to fight back here. And oh, now El Mustachio into the corner. But no, firing back with an elbow. And again, Remy Tim looking to fight back. And whoa, there we go. Remy Tim taken down. And now stomping away and the sloth grabbing a hold and twisting around the head of the worst. And oh, just slamming him right into that barricade. Oh, we got a cover. Sloth coming to break that right up. Two and boom. Three vicious elbows right to the head of Remy Tim. And Sloth goes back to work on the worst. Uh-oh, we got another cover to Remy Tim. Two. Two. Oh. Almost thought it was over there. Now El Mustachio still working on Remy Tim there in 
Oh my goodness, suplex. Oh, on that hard concrete. There's now, oh, and bouncing the freaking arm. Oh, we got two covers. Oh, broke that one. Two, three, that does it. El Mustachio with the win. Didn't see that coming at all. El Mustachio with a big premier win here on SGC in this monstrous fatal four-way match. We take a look at some of the replays here on the outside. Holy cow, what a match that was. Here you see what ultimately did. Remy Tim in. But there is your winner, none other than El Mustachio. With the big win. Here at the Screw Attack Grand Competition. And remember, we have definitely have bigger matches coming your way right now. What do you say we see what's going on? <laughs> ah, it is time for the WWE Women's Championship. So, you know, better get a hold of Johnny Chase on Twitter again to tell him that his wife is up. See if she can win the Women's Championship. And once again, I want to say thanks to everybody that's here. Zero to Hero, Silent Hero, uh, Vathanatos, uh, Smoke, obviously, for showing up. Renegade, uh, Shadowcat, Champ is here. You know, y'all are here. Thanks for showing up. Watching this uh, uh, pre-show fun. Here on the G1 Wrestling Universe on this G1 Game Day. All right, everybody, we are be back here in Los Angeles, California. We got a big match coming your way right now as we are looking to put the G1 Women's Championship on the line in a one-on-one -on -one match. And here comes the lady that wants a hold of that belt, none other than Relic Raider, hyped up as she can be to be here on the Screw Attack Grand Competition. Hopefully looking to put it in to none other than Rune's unreal title reign here at SGC, the grandest competition there is at the G1 Wrestling Universe. Already in the ring, already hyped up, ready to go. Relic Raider now. Yeah, she has the power. She has the ability to get things done. As she has shown in the past, though never taking home gold, hopefully that will change today. And now here comes her competitor, the women's champ, Rune, coming down to the ring. Definitely a big match for both of these ladies. Gotta say, as she slowly makes her entrance into the dark, eventually giving us a, a light to see her reign, her championship. Slowly making her way down to the ring room with that championship belt. Incredible title reign, wrestling it from, uh, and holding on to it from the likes of none other than Kane and G1 Hyper Combo, uh, Lena or Vanatos as she's known, and holding on to it for this long to get inside the ring with the likes of Relic Raider, who 
She's been in some big matches herself. And this is uh, only the second title defense match we've had tonight. And remember, we still have another title match coming eventually in the, with the likes of none other than Lawrence from Funhouse and none other than G1 Woody Man, the G1 world champion. But right now, it is the ladies' turn. There is the women's belt, the championship belt. Put up for grabs here. Got to say the rivalry between these two. That has come along. And there's the bell as we get underway. And Rune taking it immediately to the outside to do the damage and hope maybe get this over with and holding on to her belt. But he, she has held on. Oh, but no, Relicrator not screwing around. Oh, spin kick, goodness. And now Relicrator fighting back viciously, attacking Rune on the outside. Boom, down she goes. Oh my goodness. Oh, but no, now Rune. Oh, quickly getting back into the ring, followed immediately by Relic Raider. And oh, the champ taken down again by Relic Raider. Goodness gracious. Amazing match so far. And we have just begun. Oh, doing some damage to the leg there. Now the arm. Relic Raider, I guess, going to take this bit by bit. Take her down piece by piece. And oh, out she goes. And the count goes up again. And oh, now Rune bouncing Relic Raider's head off. And oh no, a kick right to the face. Relic Raider fighting back on the outside. Not done with Rune. Oh goodness, vicious attack. Beautiful combo, but no, caught by Rune with the takedown, oh no. And back in they go before the count out is set and off the ropes goes Relic Raider. And oh my goodness, vicious attack there. And again, Rune just bouncing the head of Relic Raider off the ground. Oh, swing and a miss with that kick. Relic Raider up and ready to fight. Whoa, down she goes. Stomping on the back. Relic Raider in good position here. In good control of this match. And the champ right into the corner. But no, elbow coming out of that corner. Uh-oh. Looking to flip things. Over to her side right there. Relic Raider coming back. And whoa, there we go. Look at that with the athleticism from Relic Raider. Incredible. Hooks of the leg, trying to put this away too. Doesn't get it yet. Obviously gonna take a little bit more to take out the champ, kinda like that. So apparently Relic Raider is gonna go ahead and dish that out. And whoa, where is she going with that? Apparently flinging Rune right across the ring. Oh, now stomping on the leg. Goodness, incredible match. So far, the Relic Raider definitely maintaining a foothold on this match against the champ. Always good to be, but uh-oh, no. Reversal from Rune coming out here now. Uh-oh, oh, goodness. Taking down Relic Raider, going to go and try and get back in this match. Going for a cover. Will that be able to do it, though? Only a two count, unfortunately. Oh, man. The champ wrapping her up. Oh, bam. With those elbow shots right to the head. And, oh, stretching out the arm. Doing everything she can to do damage anywhere she can on Relic Raider. Rune now throwing her into the corner. Uh-oh, perching her up on the top rope. Oh, that's never a good place to be. And, whoa, winging her right off the top. 
Okay, going for a cover. Smart move by the champ here. One, two, doesn't get it. Oh, amazing, amazing match between these two. Oh, man, now the champ taking her down into the cover. But still only a two count as the fight will continue on. And now Rune grabbing a hold of Relic Raider. Uh-oh. Oh, running Bulldog face first. Right into the ground, right into that mat. Oh, now throwing her down. Relic Raider off the ropes. Oh, no, reversal up and over, down and around, every which way she can go to take down the champ. She does it. Now Relic Raider looking to gain control of this match, throwing the champion rune into that corner. Uh-oh, perching her up top. We've seen what's come from her opponents that go up there. It is not pretty whatsoever. And, oh, man, down she goes. Uh-oh, perched up top. Oh, could this? No, she is met with a reversal. A big boot covers one, two, almost a two. Oh man, incredible! From oh, now working on that arm once again. Rune now celebrating with a good comeback here. Oh no, trading of kicks. Relic Raider grabbing a hold of Rune, but no Rune with a reversal. Taking Relic Raider down, gonna go ahead and go for a pin. Will that be able to do it though? Two, no. Both ladies getting slowly back to their feet in this grueling match is now Relic Raider. In the corner, no, fighting out with a big elbow. Oh, but no, kick to the midsection, but Relic Raider still going. And oh, down the champ goes quickly for a cover. Relic Raider, two, only two, once again. And the champ back on her feet. Relic Raider, two. And now the champ once again running Bulldog face first into the mat. But no, oh, uppercut. Relic Raider trying to come back here, but no, Rune catches her. The champ, oh, going to help her stretch out those arms a little bit. Oh, wrenching away at them now. Oh, just not letting go. Oh, putting the hurt on. Deciding to go ahead and let go. The damage has been done. This Relic Raider trying to fight back, grabbing a hold of Rune, just taking her down right by the hair. But oh no, missed headbutt right into her elbow. Blocks that punch. Relic Raider trying to come back, whipping Rune into the corner. Oh, now a kick. Oh my goodness, what do we got here? Oh, off the ropes. Oh my God. Relic Raider taking down the champ with style, hooking that leg. Is this it? Could this it be it too? No. Champ not giving up yet. Rune slowly finding the strength to get back to her feet. And once again is thrown right into the corner, but no, she fights out of it. And once again, it's thrown right back. Relic Raider not done with her. Wants to put her in that corner and up on that tom tur top turnbuckle. There she goes. Uh-oh. We've seen this before. Oh, but will it work this time? As now Relic Raider is perched up on that tom turnbuckle. And whoa, there she goes. And oh, now to the outside. On ringside, up. 
Whoa! Pulling out all the stops here. Relic Raider taking a moment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Relic Raider. Oh, my God. She's up. Oh, man. Down goes the champ. Cover. One. Two. That's not it. She manages to kick out Relic Raider. Can't believe it. Washing, brushing the uh, sweat from her brow after all of that. And she's still ready. And, oh, she's up. But no, reversal from the champ. Oh, face first into the floor she goes. And, oh no, pushed away. Relic Raider fighting back. Giving it everything she's got in this match. Grabbing a hold of the champ once again, throwing her into that corner. But no, Rune firing back. But Relic Raider not taking this lightly. Oh my goodness, quick takedown. Cover two. No, still not able to end it here. As the champ slowly grabbing in those ropes, getting back to her feet. And Relic Raider is right there to take advantage. Not giving the champ a moment to even breathe here. Smart move on her part. Is that, uh oh. Off the rope she goes. Oh, Inziguri right to the side of the head there. And uh-oh, what's this? Relic Raider climbing to the top. Uh-oh, are we going to see it again? And no! She is caught with another big boot. It did not work a second time. One, two, three. That does it. Rune keeping a hold of her title here at SGC. Oh, man, amazing amazing match between these two to take a look at some of the uh, replays here oh man here you see Rune dishing out the punishment throwing Relic Raider into the corner setting her up on that top rope again it is oh not a fun way down there and here you see Relic Raider Dishing out all the punishment that she can, throwing Rune into that corner. But no, Rune fighting out, not going to let it happen again. Here you see Relic Raider, thought she had this in the bag, going to finish it all off, all the way from the top rope. But Rune, obviously seeing what happens, quickly up and boots her right in the face, quickly going for the cover. Relic Raider discombobulated, managing to get the one, the two, and the three. And there is your still G1 Women's Champion, Rune, with a big title retained here at the Screw Attack Grand Competition here on the G1 Wrestling Universe, brought to you today by the G1 Game Days. And that is an amazing, amazing match between those two. One for the books, to say the least. And believe it or not, we have plenty, plenty more to go here on the G1 Wrestling Universe as rivalries will be ended, new ones will be begun as we see what is coming up next. So yeah, man, she didn't win, but holy cow, was that an amazing match. Whew. So yeah. All right, now what's it? Ah, yes.
Here it is, the big one that I've been waiting for, that everything that I've been trying to convey story-wise, so to speak, will come to a head right here. You got the coughs, baby. Yeah. Well, make sure you go ahead and you drink your drink now to help with those coughs. Okay. Okay. So again, also, thanks and amazing idea brought up here with those uh, little points for from a zero to hero. Definitely it does make this a little bit more interesting. Uh, so, you know, thanks for randomly bringing that up and implementing it to this. So, yes, how many points does Hyrulean Shadow Cat have? All right, everybody, we are back in Los Angeles, and we have a weird matchup here coming your way as we get the creators and main men behind Death Battle coming out here, going to fight together against the likes of uh, their current rivals, Sean Bolin and Craig Skipmas, as actually it has been revealed that they have been working together to try and take down Death Battle and gain control of Screwtech or come hell or high water, but it doesn't seem to be happening. So it seems that they have uh, teamed together to do something about it as best as they can. I try and take them on. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here in this, uh, obviously, this uh, tag team match between these guys. And as you can see, uh, they are no strangers to the tag team scene. The creators, uh, Ben and uh, Chad there, as now we got the team of... Uh, None other than Sean and it's okay. Sean and uh, the what's going on? The Craig, Sean, and everybody—they're all in per. Game it. It's happened. It has finally happened. It all makes sense now. Game attack team. They are the ones behind the takeovers. All the strange matches. All of the random turns of the matches and everything why they want to do things it all makes sense now Craig Sean and it looks like they even got a hold of Sam they are part of the game attack team it seems now it all makes sense Craig Sean and even Sam somewhat tired of the death battle apparently they have decided to strike out a little bit on their own start their own thing as the game attack team so be sure to let everybody know about the game attack team maybe on twitter or something let them know that they are here and in a match there you see Sean Bolin even Sam and Craig all getting together here. Okay, as we now we got a purple and a blue corner. Gotta say, it looks as though Chad a little distraught about what has happened. But now it looks like Ben not backing down one bit from, I guess, his former employer. As now they have spilled to the outside as the new game attack team. Oh, but no, Craig not taking this line down and Ben Oh, man. 
obviously not taking this insurrection uh, very well as he's now just laying the beat down on Craig on the outside. And now, uh oh. Oh, into that pole. Oh, but no, Craig now fighting back. Elbows to the face. And whoa, back in the ring they go at the count of seven. Ben still in control. Off the ropes he goes. But no, Craig blocks. Now, Craig looking to gain control here. But whoa, takedown. Now Ben going for a tag. Smart move there. Freshman in against the likes of Craig, but no. Oh, vicious DDT. So now Craig letting Sean Bolin in. And now Chad, Sean Bolin facing off here in the center of the ring. Oh, backbreaker. Now Sam also there on ring at ringside. Got to say, amazing reveal. Everything now. And now, oh, Chad James just brutalizing Sean with those uh, fists. Oh, those punches. Now Chad not done yet. Whoa, up. Oh, down he goes. Oh, now stomping away, Chad James. And, whoa, no, reversal, getting him away from him, shrugging him off. Sean Mullen, oh, leg drop. You gotta say, this will definitely be interesting to see in the future. Now, Game Attack is here. How long will they be here? What exactly will they do? Because now it seems that... The, oh, no. Chad James to fighting back. But those still... Oh, there, there's that Sean Bolin special. Going for a cover. One. Two. No. Chad kicking out. But, oh, no. Chad James shrugging off... Uh, Sean Bolin, oh, quick punch to the gut to get Chad off of him. Now it looks like Sean going to go ahead and get a fresh man in, going to go ahead and go there and rest a moment. Now, oh, right to the back. Craig taking the fight to Chad James. He is in, now in the corner. Not a good place, as especially as seen in the last match for anybody. But no, looking like uh, Chad James managing to get control. Going for a cover, two. No, only a two count. Chad James going over, tagging in Ben. And oh, taking down Ben with authority there. Craig. And uh oh. Oh, rising knee there. Right to the face of Craig. Now Ben stomping away. Not looking good for Craig here. And whoa! I gotta say the power, the tenacity, the uh, all around just brutalization from oh Ben. Definitely uh, will take its toll. But okay, here we go, Craig. Finding a way out of that before any damage can be done. And, whoa, swiftly going over, getting Sean Bolin in this match to go against the likes of Ben. And, oh, no, Ben not going to give him a moment to get an upper hand. But, luckily, Sean Bolin can make his own. Okay, now Sean Bolin. Whoa, up and over goes Ben to the outside. Not a good place to be over there. It is three on one. And, oh, into the side of the ring, Ben goes. Oh, now into those steel steps. 
Oh, nope. Been trying to fight back, but there was Craig to intercept that real quick. Put it into that. Oh, nope. It looks like up to six, and it looks like Craig is going to go ahead and help Ben back inside the ring. How thoughtful of him, I must say. Is now, oh, trying to go for a tag. Doesn't get it. Been put, oh, in that corner. Tied up in the corner now. Oh, my goodness, this. Oh, my God, this is not going to be good. Oh, oh, Ben, oh. And now the leg, oh, Sean Boland pulling no punches here. It's Ben quickly getting out of harm's way. Okay, but swiftly back in to try and get on top of things. Doesn't work. As Sean Bowen was ready for him. And there's a knee right to the face. And, oh, a beautiful butterfly suplex from Sean Bowen. Going for a cover. One, two, no, only a two count after that onslaught. Amazing tenacity from Ben. And oh, catches the leg. As Sean Bowen oh, catches Ben with a vicious DDT. And Bowen now wrestling him away from his corner oh and a big kick to the side of the head from Bolin to Ben and oh there's that icing on the cake from Sean Bolin will that be good enough and uh oh here comes Chad but no Craig is there to stop him but still only a two count and he gets a kick right to the spine for his trouble now Sean Bolin off to the corner with Ben. And uh-oh. Up to the top rope. Uh-oh, no. No, Sean Bolin up on the top rope himself. Ben up there. Oh, my God, no. All the way to the outside. Superplex to the outside. Ben is out. Ben is down. Oh, my God, he's dead. Oh, it looks like, it though, he's going to be helped up by Sean. This is not good one bit. Wrestling around with Ben. Oh, no. It looks like Ben is okay. Throwing Sean Bolin back inside the ring. Oh, my God. But Craig, not going to let him get away with that. Wrestling with him there on the outside. But Ben running away, getting back inside the ring. And now, oh, okay. Nope. Craig tried to follow. Realizing it was a mistake and getting out of the ring. Sean Bowen firmly in control here, going for a cover. And here they come, but still only a two count. As now Chad putting Craig in that corner. Not good here. Neither of those guys are the legal man, but Craig head still bouncing off that top turnbuckle. Is now Sam. Oh, taking down Sean with a cover. Oh, but Craig is right there breaking up that pin. Chad none too happy with it. Swinging the miss from that low drop kick. And oh, there's that Sean Bowen special we all know and love. And whoa! Swinging a miss though. Uh-oh, what's this? He's now on the outside. Oh, no. Ben getting out of the way. Oh, Hurricane Rana taking down Ben. Sean Bolin trying to pull out all the stops. Unfortunately, not connecting. Ben a little bit too smart to get and is able to get quickly out of the way. Now Craig is back in here. Going to go ahead and uh, try and get one over on Ben here as he puts him right in that corner. Got to say, Ben, while he is in the ring with the likes of Craig, is none too happy about what has happened here. Uh-oh, no, 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 no. Double team, double game attack team. Oh, down he goes over the riff. Oh, my God. 
One, two, no. Chad breaks it up in the nick of time. Craig rolling him up, getting him out of the way. And oh no. Sean Bolin now in control of this amazing match between these four individuals. Oh! It's Chad James now slowly getting back to his feet there on the outside to get back into his corner. Has been, oh, with a reversal into a powerbomb, but no. Sean Bolin punches him to the gut. Chad James finally back up on the apron. Has been really, really needs to make a tag about now. Whoa, round and round he goes, and there goes Ben. And no cover there. And uh oh, neck breaker. Now tag. Now Craig is back in this match. Now Craig swinging Ben into that corner. And oh, right to the gut. Oh no, Ben catching the leg. Craig saying no, but grabbing a hold. And oh, pushing him away right off of him. And oh my goodness, Craig stomping away. Here we go now, Craig in control. Oh, goodness. They're going for a tag. It is Sean Boland's time inside the ring. Finally, once again, as Ben desperately needs to make a tag as Sean Boland rolling him over for a cover. One, two, no, doesn't get it. John Mullins and Ben inside the Oh, elbow drop. It's been still at the mercy of the man inside the ring, Sean Mullen. Desperately, desperately needs to make a tag. Though his uh, teammate not back up on the apron yet. And now, oh my goodness, Sean Mullen. Okay, oh, there comes Chad to break this up right there. And of course, Craig chasing him out to the back to the outside. Is now Sean. Oh no, we got a reversal. And oh, a flying uppercut from the likes of Ben. Finally able to make a tag to get Chad James in. And oh no, reversal. Quickly with the cover. Two, only a two. And oh, now Chad James taking the fight to Bolin. Freshman in the fight here. No, it's okay. You can spoil. We need to keep, you know, if you want to keep updated, that's, that's you know, posting those type of things counts. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right, Silent Hero. You're fine. Okay, three, two, one. And Sean Bolin and Chad James going at each other. And now Sean Bolin into the corner. Oh. Goodness gracious. Now, Chad just laying waste to Sean Bolin here. Throwing Sean into the corner. And up he goes to the top turnbuckle. Not a good place for Sean to be, that is for sure. And boom! One two only a two count now Chad James back in it 
Definitely feeling winded here. guys still continue to fight it out inside the ring now Ben back in on the action and now Chad Ben Sean and Sean Bowen coming back Uh-oh, here we go. We got a cover, but Chad James is right there in the ring. But luckily... And now we got a double-team maneuver from Chad and Ben. And, oh, taking out the sign. Everybody back in their corner is now Chad James and Sean Bolin continue to fight it out. And oh man, now Sean Bolin being tied up in that corner, upside down. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, across the back, those knees. Oh, quickly going for a cover. Smart move here, but no, Craig breaking that up. Now Sean is back up, fighting, and oh, again, with that Sean Bowen special. Got a cover in the center of the ring, but no, Ben quickly sliding in to break that up. And oh, now working on the arm. And whoa, up and over he goes, missing Sean Bolin, but hitting Craig. Wow. Okay, now all four men in, out of the ring, as now it's not only Sean and Chad, as it should be, and oh, there is a leg drop. As their teammates now have uh, decided to take things to the outside, and now Sean with Chad. Oh, but no, there's a big kick and a punch. Chad fighting back with kicks to the midsection. Oh, big punch there. But no, Sean fighting back. Oh, a kick. And uh oh, what's this? Neck breaker taking him down. Okay, going for a cover. One, two, and no, Craig was there to stop any possible interference from Ben. But still not able to get that one, two, or the three count. Oh, beautiful, powerful uppercut from Chad James taking down John Bolin. Uh-oh, going for a cover. Better get over there quick one. And managing to break that up. Craig quickly <laughs> getting back outside the ring as the ref yells at him.
Sean Mullen. Oh! Take it down, Chad. Going to work on that leg. Oh my goodness, Chad. Ow, that has got to hurt. Sean Mullen looks to definitely gain control of this match. And oh man. Here we go. We got a cover. Doesn't look to be an interference now as they still fight on the outside. No, been there. A little too late. Luckily, only got a two count. There we uh, see some elbows oh goodness is that yes that is blood Chad James is, has been bloodied by those elbows and oh off the top oh my goodness springboard off that top rope is now Sean definitely in control of this match as Chad tries to go for a much needed tag doesn't get it caught by Sean so of course Sean a little bit winning going for the tag himself and Craig there to stop any oh no reversal and uh oh Craig in the corner there's the tag looks like we're going to get another double team move and oh man uh-oh, uh-oh, cover. Oh, the ref, two. No, only a two count. Now Chad and Craig fight it out. Is now Chad taking Sean, throwing him to the outside. It's now Chad, dazed and confused on the outside. Craig crawling away and oh catch has been a bit by surprise now trying to rip the head off Ben it looks like oh quickly into a cover two only no so now Craig quickly Uh oh oh there we go there's a counter and roll over one two no and Chad quickly rolling out of the ring here it's now Ben just stomping away on the back of Craig Ben and Craig there in the middle of the ring now. Oh, up and over. Uh oh, looks like Ben gonna go ahead and work on the legs here. And oh man, that'll do some definite big damage to your knees. Now Ben continuing the onslaught here. Oh, and on the back, right splayed across his knees with that backbreaker. And there's the tag to the still bleeding Chad James. Craig trying to crawl to his corner here. Doesn't make it for the tag. And oh, now Chad James beating his partner right in front of him. Sean Bolin none too happy. And off into the corner he goes. And uh-oh, up he goes. Not a good place for Craig to be. Oh, man, that is a long way down from the top as we get a cover. One, two, only a two count. Oh, there's a counter. Is now Chad James going into the corner. Sean Bowen still inside the ring. Uh-oh, up on that middle turnbuckle. Oh, leg 
taking Chad James down. One, two, broken up by Ben. And now, uh-oh, Chad James grabbed a hold of by Craig. He is in the corner. Nope. Out he comes with an elbow. And taken down by Craig. Swiftly, but surely again. And uh-oh. Whoa! Snapping him right down. And oh, now bouncing Chad James. Bleeding head right off that canvas. Into a cover. Two broken up by Ben. Now Craig, none too happy about that. Going to go ahead and punish Chad. Oh, but no, there's a kick to the midsection. Woo, taking him down there. Craig, not done yet. Oh, has a hold of that arm. Oh, down he goes. And as you can see, their teammates still fighting it out on the outside. Now Chad James trying to crawl away the best he can, not able to do it. And, oh, the arm now. Craig definitely here, definitely make a statement with game attack to screw attack here. Taking down Chad James, and oh, now stomping to the chest. If anything, this should definitely, uh, oh my God, the stunner. But Ben back up on the apron. Cover. Ben is right there. He comes back in. And he breaks it up. And again, Sean Bullen taking Ben out of the equation best he can. And uh-oh. Craig ready and waiting. Grabbing a hold of him. Oh, man. One, two, no, still doesn't get it. But the way this is going, I'm sure at some point even Chad has to see the, oh, but there is that power punch from Chad James. Taking down Craig. Will that be able to do it as he rolls him over? One, two, no. Craig not giving up. Is now, oh, Craig quickly going to the outside out of harm's way. Is now Chad. And oh, a rising knee. Oh, taking him down. He's in the center of the ring. Is now Craig going for a tag. Is now Chad James trying to go for. A tag doesn't get it, and woo, off into the game attack corner he goes. And uh-oh, we got a double team maneuver with a tag. And oh, down he goes, Craig over the ref. Will he go for a pin? Yes, he does. And one, two, three, that does it, game attack with a big win. The big win in this incredible knockdown drag out match with the debut of the likes of Game Attack. Everything finally coming into focus. I definitely got to say, after the beating sustained by the likes of Chad, I wouldn't be surprised if even Chad doesn't make an appearance to their ranks. Oh man, some amazing moments in this match as we see here. It's Craig, Sean. Sam patiently watching on the outside. 
And here you see the double team maneuver that ultimately did in the likes of Chad James. And whoa, over the ref he goes. Sean Mullen trying to quickly get out before anything bad happens. But luckily, he was still close by, able to come in and prevent the likes of Ben from interfering and able to get that three count. And there are your winners with a big debut. Sam, Sean, Craig. The Game Attack is here. The Game Attack team is here to stay with a big win here at SGC. Wow, what do we got next? Who knows? But it's bound to be good. So yes, here here's the deal with this ladder match. Everybody here has shown uh, their prowess in some way, shape, or form, including me as of recently. So here's how here's what's going to happen. Uh, as soon as we debuted WWE 2K17, whoever wins this match, me included, is going to get a shot at the brand new uh, G1 Game Day title. And well, that's about it. All you got to do is go up there and get the belt, or not the belt, but the thing with the contract in the th uh, suitcase and. And here's the thing since I am in this match, I will be playing myself. And remember, the AI is on Legend. So I may, may very well not win. <laughs> so, yes, here we go. This should be interesting. And also, since uh, Shiro retained, also one of these other five might just get a chance first crack at the likes of the G uh, the new GSF or possible hardcore title depending on which wins that match of which belt to use so again we have lots to look forward to here in 2K17 as soon as it is up and ready to go here's hoping the ladder spawn <laughs> God, I remember that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoo. Okay. And so, yes, I'm going to try and do my best to commentate and play at the same time. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Los Angeles back here with this contract beat briefcase match here at SGC as you can see that gold money in the bank contract in the case up there hanging high atop the ring now the deal with this is these six competitors, as you may know, are some of the best and brightest here at the G1 Wrestling Universe. They are all fighting for a chance in the upcoming next season of the G1 Wrestling Universe to get a chance to get a hold of that contract for a shot at the S, uh, at the next uh, possible chance to get a hold of a title shot against whoever the reigning title holder is. Which, of course, as you may or may not know, is the next match, which the next match will ultimately decide as the first competitor here, Red Row, coming out. Strong showing here as of late. Some big wins and uh, unfortunate losses. And uh, hopefully he can get his hands on that case. Get his hands on the contract as the fire beckons him to enter the ring. And of course, he has five other competitors he has to contend with. 
to try and get up those ladders and get that briefcase. So, we hopefully uh, not only will have a good match, but a good indicator on what is to come in the here in the next iteration of the G1 Wrestling Universe. All thanks to the exploits right here at the Screw Attack Grand Competition. And here is the next superstar, the next big G1 to come in and play a big role here in this six-man ladder match. None other than Tom the Iron Man. That man as well been in some amazing matches throughout the past year also in a amazing rivalry with another competitor that's going to come out here eventually none other than short bus Eric unfortunately never really in the title scene per se though he did have a pretty good little tag team relationship with the current champ Woody man until unfortunately those uh, belts were ultimately dissolved Okay, now Tom obviously in the ring, ready to go. Be sure you get your tweets out, get everything, make sure everybody that is in this match, make sure they know that this match is going on and taking place right here on G1 Game Days at the SGC Screw Attack Grand Competition. Be sure everybody knows, make sure everybody's here and can witness their greatness and everything that is going down. Here is the big man himself. The man that loves an explosive interest, none other than Short Buds Eric. So if you have a betting game at home, you have a good, good chances, though. Heaven help you if you bet on more than one, because you might be losing a lot of money. <laughs> Should the wrong one win. Yes, there he is making his entrance big and beautiful and loud as it can be. There he is, as you see the ladders at ringside and even more pyro. And here we go. There's another big G1 competitor known as Silent Hero. As you may know, he's recently coming off a big win of, off a big rivalry with none other than Jeff Ramsey after the Royal Rumble. After he eliminated him, Jeff, none too happy about that elimination. therefore decided to take his angst and his uh, anger out on him but ultimately to no avail as you can see short bus still in the ring giving absolutely paying absolutely no mind to the likes of silent hero and now silent hero is in the ring but again he is not the last competitor we still have more to come And there is another big competitor, big on the scene here on the G1 Wrestling Universe, none other than Hydro. Making a big entrance, big debut, well not a debut, but a big entrance here at SGC. Obviously not the biggest dog in this fight, but still managing to come out with some big wins, some uh, even more spectacular losses in a lot of cases. 
Hydra is still a big name here in the G1 Wrestling Universe. And a good contender as any to possibly win this uh, six-man ladder match and being able to climb up that ladder. And he, oh, here we go. We got the next competitor coming down right now. None other than a more recent entrant getting a big debut at the Screw Attack Royal Rumble. None other than G1 Shadow Cat. Going to take part in this. Got to say, it'd definitely be a big win. A big, uh, definitely be a big uh, uh, improvement for him to win a match like this. So here, upcoming in the next season, get a shot whenever he may want it at the likes of that title. Yes, there he is. All right, he is in, Hydro is in. Any moment we'll be able to get this match underway. All we need is a bell. All right, here we go. The bell has been rung and we are off to the races. Now Silent Hero going after Shadow Cat. Short bus going after Robe, it looks like. And Hydro being taken to task by Tom. And now, oh, no. And now Tom taking the first ladder, bringing it inside the ring. As now Shadow Cat and Silent Hero battle it on, battle it out on the outside. As Short Bus still bringing the pain to the likes of Robe. But no, we get a reversal and a combination and a vicious takedown. And oh, as the Hydro running into Robe. And oh no. Now Tom going after Robe, picks him up. Over he goes as Short Bus is now going with the likes of uh, Hydro and Tom. Oh, throwing Robe around the ring is Silent Hero and Shadow Cat still going at it. And there's an elbow drop. And Short Bus being taken down by Hydro. Now Shadow Cat looking to uh, fight back a little bit. Now Tom going back outside the ring once again to grab the other ladder. And oh, nicking. Uh... Okay, now it looks like Rat Robe is going to go ahead and grab a hold of it, set it up. Uh oh, what is this? Robe climbing up that ladder, reaching for it. Uh oh, Hydro going up to meet him. Oh, decking him. Uh oh, Tom. Oh my god, Tom. Oh, taken down that ladder with Robe and Hydro on top of it. Oh man, now Shadow Cat looking to do a little bit of damage on the likes of a red robe going up to the top rope. Oh my goodness, it's not looking good here. Oh my goodness. The silent hero now taking on Tom the Iron Man and Short Bus again having it out with Hydro and we get a reversal to Robe from uh, Shadow Cat and oh okay there he goes Shadow Cat being positioned on that top rope as Tom and Silent Hero battle it out oh my goodness here goes Shadow Cat Hydro taking it to Short Bus it is mayhem inside the ring down goes Shadow Cat Uh-oh. And Shadow Cat fighting back with a snap suplex. Shadow Cat now going to the outside. As now Tom and Short Bus square off, it looks like. 
as now Hydro taking uh, a licking from the likes of Silent Hero. Rogue finally back to his feet. And whoa, up and over. Oh, but no. Misses. Narrowly misses. It's now Shadow Cat with that. And oh, running drop kick. Or flying drop kick. Uh oh, Silent Hero now trying to get back inside the ring. Does it and meets. Robe on his way there. Now Silent Hero tangling with Robe it looks like here. Being thrown, oh, to the outside. And the rest of the way he goes. And oh, now Robe has taken his attention to Shadow Cat. As Tom and Short Bus have it out there on the inside corner. And on the outside corner is none other than Silent Hero and Hydro. And oh, now down goes the ladder. And to the outside goes. Shadow Cat, who seems to be down and out, and now Short Bus. Things not looking good for him. It's now Rogue turning his attention to Tom. And oh, down goes Tom and Shadow Cat grabbing a hold of Short Bus, taking him to the outside. Oh, now Rogue firing off with looks to be, yes, it is the Warlock Bomb on Tom the Iron Man. And now Tom being thrown inside the ring as now there's dueling ladders on the outside, but Shadow Cat coming out on top there. And oh no, a big boot from Tom from the corner to Robe. And now only Robe and Tom on the inside, but no Robe looking to change that. Is now Silent Hero just going mental with that ladder on the outside. Is now Shadow Cat making his way through the ring. Is now Rogue. What is Rogue planning to do? Is now Short Bus has that ladder, but now Hydro has the ladder. Rogue is on the top rope. What is he planning here? And oh my God! Oh, but no misses. Taking out nobody. Now Robe is out on the outside floor, barely moving, barely able to get up is with Hydro and Shadow Cat both on the outside. Silent Hero setting up the, oh, double team on the outside. Now Tom with the ladder, Silent Hero and Short Bus. Hydro now with the ladder on the inside. Oh, right to the back of the head. Oh my goodness, what could possibly happen next? Now Rogue looking to get back inside the ring as Shadow Cat. Oh no, grabbed by Hydro, thrown back outside the ring. Now Shadow Cat left inside the ring with that ladder all by his lonesome. Setting it up just right as everybody is outside the ring fighting it out as he climbs up the ring. Shadow Cat up on the ring grabbing a hold of that briefcase. Robe going up. And oh no. Down he goes. And now Robe trying to reach hold of it. But Eric, oh no, Robe. Oh, taken down also. Everybody taken down as Short Bus now grabbing. That ladder putting it right back up as Robe is thrown to the outside. Shadow Cat once again taking out people with that ladder, setting it right back up. Silent Hero is down. The ladder is back up. Uh oh. 
Shadowcat looking. Oh, takedown. Shadowcat, oh, looking. Oh, no, there goes Shadowcat. Shadowcat wins. Shadowcat with the win. Big win for Shadowcat. From this amazing match so far here at the Screw Attack Grand Competition. We take a look at some of the replays. We see uh, Tom with a reversal into a suplex. There you see Shadow Cat stealing the win here, grabbing a hold of that briefcase, briefcase with that contract. Amazing win there. Look for him at some point in the future in the big title scene. Amazing match between all six of these competitors here with that man right there, Shadow Cat. With the big win. Next, between none other than Lawrence from Funhouse and uh, the big G1 of the Roost, Woody Man. So yeah, how about that? Gotta say, I definitely did try and stop you there, Shadow Cat. Uh, yeah, at some point, in the next season on 2K17 Shadow Cat, if you want a title shot, you can have it whenever you want. I mean, if you don't want to face whoever wins the next match, I mean, you can wait till the belt changes hands again and so there's a new champion. It's pretty much like, you know, money in the bank rules. Whenever you want to cash in and you want that title shot, I will give it to you. So, yeah. All right. Now, is the big man on Cadmus Woody Man here to see his match by chance? You still here, Woody? Uh, let me look at the viewer list. No. All right. Let me get on Twitter and bug Woody here. Before we start it up, I'm sure he wants to see his match.
So yes, uh, before we continue with the final match, I see it is 6.30. Almost time for WrestleMania to begin as we are all going on to our last match. So I want to take a little poll of the people here in chat, all the people here watching live, as this will be on YouTube eventually. What do you think so far? Good matches? Okay matches? What do you think? As I wait to hear from Woody or he shows up in the chat and says, I'm here and inebriated. So I gotta say, I gotta ask what you think. What y'all think so far of the Screw Attack Grand Competition? Got some good matches, that's good. Well, thank you. I mean, you're not biased at all, Shadow Cat, I'm sure. Not biased one bit. Yeah, that tag match, man. Whoo, that was a little long. Well, hey, we got one more title match. That, it may change. There may be a title change in the next one, so. Okay, I'll give Woody another good minute here uh, before I, we continue on without the champ in chat to witness his uh, title shot, or title defense rather, I should say, title defense, as he has to take on Lawrence from Funhouse. And then after this, I guess we're going to run up or maybe even overlap a little bit. You never know, depending on how long this goes. Uh, the likes of uh, WrestleMania, we all can go and watch. And we'll go offline. Because, you know, like I said, and there his minute is up. Let's continue on. Yes, the G1 Game Day champ, the champion, Woody Man, and Lawrence will fight it out. Coming up here. And again, before this goes on, thanks everybody again for being here. Smoke, Thanatos, Shadow Cat, Champ, anybody and everybody else. And remember, if you went want in on the next season of G1 Game Days and you have an Xbox One, uh, 2K17 is having a free weekend thanks to WrestleMania. You can download it, create yourself a character, uh, send me a DM or message on on the Twitter or something after you've created yourself and upload it and I can download them and add them to the roster that's if you have an Xbox one all right everybody we are back here for our final match of the evening of the screw attack grand competition as we have the big match between the Royal Rumble winner Funhouse, this man right there, his very own Lawrence coming down to the ring, earning his big attempt here to headline none other than SGC, thanks to that big Royal Rumble win. Unfortunately, he's going to have to take on the current reigning multi week defense reign of the G1 Woody Man. Though spectacular feat as a Royal Rumble win is, he is going to have to go through 
the big mean machine made out of wood known as Woody Man as uh, Lawrence wasting no time to get inside the ring. Get this match underway. He wants his SGC moment in the spotlight. All right, here we go. Now here comes the big man on campus. The man you have to, the man made of wood you have to definitely worry about. None other than the G1 game day champ, Woody Man. Now him coming down to the ring, wasting no time, title in hand. Going to go ahead and get straight to business. Here he is, your G1 game day G1 Universe World Championship Woody Man showing off that belt he has rightfully held on and defended several times at this point though he did lose it at one point regaining it quickly thereafter there it is the blue and gold belt all of it on the line here the big match, the culmination of everything here in the G1 Wrestling Universe. And there's the bell. And now Woody Man, oh, taking Lawrence to the outside. The count has already started. It's now Woody Man. Oh, throwing Lawrence up against the side of the ring. Not a good start for our Royal Rumble winner. Oh my goodness. And oh, down he goes there on the outside. Remember, you can still be disqualified though. As you can hear the ref still counting. But Woody Man seeming to give absolutely no cares in the world. Okay, there we go. Champ getting swiftly back in the ring. There we go. After the onslaught, the count up to seven. Woody Man up. Oh, nope. He's back inside the ring, but no, deciding to come back out. Maybe a bit of a mistake. Is Woody Man going to go ahead and help him back inside the ring? And oh no, up to the top, but no, Lawrence sees him. In an amateur move by Woody. Not good, not good one bit as Lawrence from the top taking down the champ. There we go, down goes Woody, but no, Woody is back up and fighting. Blocks that punch, returning with one of his own. Now Lawrence looking to maintain control of this match here as best he can against the uh, ruthless champ here, Woody Man. Up and over he goes, neck breaker. Lawrence is down. Woody Man seems to have control back in his hands in this match. Woody Man setting Lawrence up with a kick right to the spine. Oh, vicious right hand, now a chop. Woody Man. Now Lawrence grabbing a, a hold, arm wrapped around, but no, Woody Man fighting back. Okay, here comes some elbows right to the stomach. Woody Man fighting back, grabbing a hold and tossing Funhouse's Lawrence right across the ring. Okay, we got a cover. I don't think that's going to do it, but only a two. Okay, but nope, we get a reversal there. Kick to the back of the leg. Lawrence, oh my goodness. Taking down the champ hard. Rolling over Woody Man. And oh goodness, snapping him. Almost in half there. Lawrence once again. Oh, nope, reversal. Woody Man getting out of that. But no, kick to the midsection, but no. 
fury of right hands from Woody Man getting back. Oh, and there's an uppercut. That'll definitely make you see a few birds. And, oh, goodness, side suplex. Oh, quickly covers. Lawrence, one, two, only a two count. Oh, no blocks. Returning with a right hand of his own. Lawrence now. Oh, belly to belly suplex taking down the champ. Okay, Lawrence. Back. Oh, nope. Up and over he goes. Lawrence. Again at the mercy of the champ. Okay. Nope. Getting out of that. Definite some. Oh, DDT. There is a good equalizer if I ever saw one. Okay, up. Oh, Lawrence now going for the pin after that vicious DDT, but only getting a one count. Oh, now a series of elbows to Woody Man. And now, uh oh, Lawrence looking for something big here. Oh, grabs him. Oh, Lawrence looking to lay down the law right here. Up and over. Down he goes. We get a cover. One, two, no, doesn't get it. Very nearly a three, though. Now Lawrence once again, oh, taking the assault directly to the champ. Definitely wants to get his hands on that gold. And, oh, down again he goes. Oh, Woody Man now with a cover. Two, no, kick out. Lawrence not giving in yet. And, oh, there's another vicious uppercut from the champ. And, again, snap. Takedown by Woody Man. Oh, wrenching his arm right around the head. Tight as he can. Oh, yes. Look at that. Doing as much damage as physically possible before almost nearly looking to try and just rip the head right off of Lawrence. Oh, now Woody Man let it go. But no, might have been a wrong move. But no, luckily Woody Man. Uh-oh. Round and round he goes. Woody Man down. little bit of premature celebration from the likes of Lawrence. Woody Man slowly getting his stature back. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Lawrence threw the ring ropes into that steel pole. And oh, goodness. Lawrence now hooking the leg for a cover. One doesn't get it, though. Now Woody Man fighting back to his feet. Sees Lawrence, but Lawrence grabbing a hold of him. And whoosh goes Woody Man right into that corner. And up he goes on that top turnbuckle. Not a good place for the man made of wood to be. All the way down he goes. Lawrence. Oh, looking to strike right at the roots of Woody Man there going for the legs now Lawrence oh no trying for a headbutt all he sees though is Woody Man's elbow oh Woody Man he has him up but no it's a reversal with a knee right to the head from Lawrence nice snap suplex from Lawrence taking down the champ Woody Man not going to take this line down, though. Oh, nice comeback here with an onslaught to the likes of Lawrence. Uh-oh, Woody Man setting up for something here. Oh, running knee to the side of the head. Woody Man definitely. Oh, now the arm breaker. Breaking, trying to break the branch right off of Lawrence there. One, two, only a two. Woody Man can't quite believe it. After that vicious assault, Lawrence still managing to kick out somehow. Oh, now firing back with the right hand. Lawrence grabbing hold, another snap suplex to take. Uh-oh, Lawrence setting up for something big. Woody Man not knowing what he's in for. Don't get up. 
Champ. He is up. Oh my goodness. Again. Looking at Lawrence looking to lay down the law. Bam. He's down. Oh my goodness. One. Two. Will this be it? Three. That does it. You have a new G1 game day winner. Lawrence inching out of victory over the man made of wood. Oh man, Woody man so close to retaining but ultimately the swift styles of uh, Lawrence here managing to take down <laughs> take down the Woody man and get the one two three practically out of nowhere here you see it up and over around Woody Man, unable to tell exactly what the heck is going on. Managing to eke out a victory, eke out a win here at the Screw Attack Grand Competition. There is your new G1 Game Day champion, excited as he can be. What a way to end SGC with a big victory. And new champion. <coughs> and that is it for this big G1 Universe event. None other than your new champion, retaining champions. That is it for today. We will see you next time in the very new future for an all new G1 Wrestling Universe. See you all very soon. <sighs> so. Not going to lie, I did not see him winning. Woody Man has a higher thing than him. Uh, stats than him and stuff. But I'll be damned if he didn't win. So yeah, it looks like uh, I definitely have to make Lawrence now. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for that. Yeah, you were enemies from the last title reign where you guys fought over it. So yeah, let's advance. See where this uh, goes. Oh, look. God damn. So if we were continuing, look at this. There were our rivalries between... Lawrence and Evil Craig and Hydro and Renegade and Jeremy and Dooley, Jeremy Dooley and Torian. But what do you say we have a little bit more fun? What what's coming on here to the yes. Okay. So apparently there were going to be some rivalries between Matt Thomas and uh, Shadowcat. And, oh, looks like the Relic Raider and Rune thing keeps going. And the Shiro and Johnny Chase thing is still going. So what do you say we have a little bit of fun? And we simulate all the way to the next SGC. And boom. We're going to simulate 
all the way there to see what would happen if we had another year of the G1 Wrestling Universe in WWE 2K16. You know, just for fun and everything as we will be getting ready to go here any minute as... Wow, look at all of the different rivalries popping up and going away. Barrel and Jack, Ruby and... Oh, oh now Kanan and Relic, Silent Hero, Johnny Chase. Hey, that one's happened before. Um, there's Renegade and Jack, Evil Craig and Solid Snake. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, Renegade and Gavin, all right. So yeah, apparently one year in, apparently uh, Kanan will be the women's champ. Uh, there's a rivalry between G1 Hyper Combo and Amber Williams. Lena and Large Marge are in a rivalry. Uh, I'm not surprised, but apparently Clay <laughs> will face me for the GSF champ. And apparently Renegade. Will be would be the champ, uh, G one game day champ again. So yeah, that that was fun. That's nifty. Yeah, look at that crap. Isn't that crazy? Ah. <sighs> so yeah, again, thanks everybody for showing up. Uh, I don't know. Are the 2K17 things up? Let's see if I can, uh... And remember, here in 2K17, if you have an Xbox One, uh, you still have plenty of time to download the game, make yourself a character you want to represent you, in the G1 Wrestling Universe, all you need to do is upload it to the Xbox One, you know, the servers, and I can download it, kind of like I did the uh, ring.
definitely need more G1, so if you know anybody that likes wrestling uh, that wouldn't mind being...